Good morning, Newberry. You all look pretty good today. Why don't you give yourself a round of applause? Welcome to the opening convocation and the end of our first week. I hope you all had a fantastic week. Would you pray with me? I say the Lord be with you and you say and also with you. Shall we do that? The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, you bring forth food from the earth and rain from the sky that you replenish the earth, you replenish our bodies, you nourish and feed us in knowledge and in truth. In this room and across this campus, Lord God, our dreams beyond imagination, goals and hopes, fears and wonders, worries and anxieties, it's the beginning of a new season, the beginning of a new spirit, the beginning of a new campus community. And so we ask, Lord God, that you would impart upon us your Holy Spirit to inspire us and motivate us, to mentor us and lead us, to love us and care for us, that you may light the candles within us, that we may burn brightly, that we may be there for ourselves and each other, that we may be supportive and caring of one another, and that this may be the best semester ever at Newberry College. We ask your special blessing on our faculty, staff, students, our administration and coaches, our athletic venues, the community that surrounds us and supports us, our moms and dads, our families. Be with us and bless us and help us to learn all truth, that we may be people of justice and mercy and kindness, that in our learning and in our leading and our being and our doing, we may change the world in a better way. We pray these things in the name of the one who created us and redeemed us. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, we take time to light our class candles, and I will invite first our student government president, Luke Carraway, to come up and light the Newberry College candle. Give it up for Luke. And next to light the 2019 senior candle is President Karina Tarbell. Next, we'll invite up to light the 2020 candle, President Akio Brown. <laughs> Representing the class of 2021 is President Paige Meyer. And representing our class of 2022 is Ms. Shayla Davis. Our candles are lit, the semester has begun. A reading from Matthew 5. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Have a great semester. Good morning. Welcome to opening convocation 2018. My name is Sid Parrish, and I'm serving as the interim academic dean for the school year. This is our first opportunity to formally welcome the newest members of the Newberry College family and to greet all the returning students, faculty, and staff to a year of educational adventure both inside and outside of the classroom. Faculty, would you please stand?
Can we please give recognition and thanks to the work and the dedication that these faculty are going to give to you, our students, for this year? <laughs> students, these are your professors, advisors, and mentors. I encourage you to connect with them in and out of the classroom, during their office hours and around campus. Pick their brains, use their knowledge, ask questions. They and all of us here up on the platform are here to help you succeed in reaching your goals. Thank you for all that you do. We are pleased to have on the platform Mr. Foster Sen, Mayor of the City of Newberry, Mr. Luke Carraway, 2018 President of the Student Government Association. They are here to welcome you and to help us celebrate the beginning of the academic year. Also with, today, uh, with us today is Mr. Hap Pierce, Chair of the Newberry College Board of Trustees, bringing greetings from the board and to introduce our president and convocation speaker, Dr. Maurice Sharons. Dr. Sharons has inspiring words to share with us about the future of the college. On behalf of the administration, again, thank you for being here. And now please join me in welcoming Mayor Sen. Thank you, Dr. Parrish. And President Sharons, I just want to congratulate you on all the success you have here and we're having here at Newberry College. What a great look and full house we have here today. And so many good things going on here. Congratulations. We appreciate your leadership. Good morning. Greetings from the city of Newberry. We are excited you are here and excited for a new year at Newberry College. If you are a freshman or transfer student, new faculty or staff, welcome to Newberry. We hope your days in Newberry are rewarding and enlightening. If you're a returning student, you were, went home for the summer elsewhere, welcome back. It was slow and dull in town without y'all here. As Newberry College students, I hope you feel at home in Newberry, and I encourage you to venture off campus. Downtown Newberry, which is just a few blocks from here, is a neat place. Uh, we have Newberry Opera House, restaurant shops. We have a great ice cream parlor with 48 flavors, a new coffee shop called Genesis Hub. Uh, in September, the Steel Horse Smokehouse Barbecue will be a new restaurant downtown, and we expect other openings downtown during this school year. And as a matter of fact, we're getting good at coffee shops at Oakland Mill. There's a new coffee shop opening there very soon, Coffee Hatch, it's 1912. Our other main business area you may have discovered is the Wilson Road area. We have a number of new businesses we've gotten there uh, in the last couple of years, such as Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell, Groucho's Deli. PD Outfitters Clothing Shop, Papa John's just opened, and we expect some other things to happen this, there this academic year. I encourage you to enjoy outdoor activities in Newberry. Just a few blocks from here at Spear Street, there's a Frisbee golf course that college students have liked over the years. Lynch's Woods is on Wilson Road. That's a good place to walk and hike. We're proud to partner with Newberry College to open the new Oakland Tennis Center uh, this past year, and that's been a big hit. And so I just encourage you to maybe venture off for outdoor activities as well. As well. We're good at festivals, and I invite you to all of them. My big one is called Oktoberfest. It's the first Saturday in October. Over 20,000 people come to it. I think you'd find it a lot of fun, and I hope to see you there. In summary, most of all, whether it's your favorite place to eat or hang out, uh, to, to be involved, to go to church, or whatever you want to do in Newberry, we want you to feel at home at Newberry and kind of consider it maybe your second hometown, and, and, and I invite you to do that. The other thing I want you to do today is I want to salute Newberry College and your students. I'm on campus a great deal and every time I'm impressed. In addition, Newberry College students and organizations make up the most active people in our community, volunteering, giving back, leading philanthropic efforts in our community. Just yesterday, I had an email from a Newberry College coach who said, look, our team's looking for more involvement. What can we do? And that's the type of attitude I see frequently from students and faculty. Y'all give back and our town really benefits from that. We appreciate it. In closing, I hope you have a great year at Newberry College. Please know that we're proud of you. We're proud of you as individuals, and we're proud of Newberry College. Thank you very much. Good morning. First, I'd like to start off by welcoming or welcoming back everyone to campus, depending on who you are. It's great to be able to see our faculty, staff, administration, and of course, students back here on campus. Convocation is always special here in Newberry and gives us the opportunity to come together as a family. Normally with this type of speech, we start off by addressing the freshmen, but this year I'm gonna save them for last and start with the seniors. Senior, our time and classes are quickly coming into an end, but endless opportunities are still waiting around the door. It may be intimidating to think about life after graduation, but no, I'm confident that our time here at Newberry has prepared us for whatever journey we have next. 
Juniors, you pushed over the halfway mark of your academic journey here at Newberry, faced many of the challenges that college has in store, and still have plenty of experiences yet to live. Sophomores, you not only made it through freshman year, but for many of you, you grew as people, faced many of the challenges, and adapted to becoming more independent with your time here at Newberry. Finally, freshmen, congratulations. You're not only attending a school that's gonna prepare you for your future and academic goals, but also a place that's gonna make you a better person. The people that are in this room, the faculty, the staff, the administration, the other classmates that you'll have in your room, those are the people that you can count on all year. No matter what you heard going into college, no matter what your expectations are, just know that you have people here at Newberry that will always be willing to help you, that you can always count on, that are just a phone call away. So pretty much in, I just want to say, this is a really special place. Our campus is always important to us, and Newberry really is what you make out of it. So go into this year with a new attitude, new expectations, new goals, and have a great year. Good morning. My name is Hap Pierce. I have had the pleasure of serving as chairman of the board of trustees of this college. And the reason I do that is because Newberry College changed my life. And I promise you it will change your lives. How much it's going to change your life is up to you. And you, I can see some of you looking around and said, oh, they brought in the old guy to tell us what it was like. Not true, and, that, and the old guy is not going to tell you to study hard. I want to give you a number to remember, and you probably can figure this out because this is third grade math. 120. Now, coincidentally, that happens to be fairly close to the number of hours you need to graduate. But I'm going to talk about 120 hours a week. There are 168 hours in a week. I know, because you're here, you're going to class 16 hours a week. And I know that each one of you is going to study two hours for every class, every hour you have in class. That leaves 120 hours. Use your 120 hours effectively and get something out of it, whether you're on an athletic team and practicing or on the field or the court, you're in the band and you're practicing, you're sleeping, you all have heard of that I think, um, you're going to meals, or and more importantly, you're just enjoying the company of your friends. Use your 120 hours effectively, and the more that you use those effectively, the more that this college and in the next four years or three or how many's ever left for you, the more you will find out how much it changed your life. 120 hours a week, use those to your best interest. And with that, I'd like to introduce the president of our college, who mo most of you know and I'm sure most of you have seen, President Mari Sharons. It's a wonderful world. Thank you to the mayor, Foster Sen. Thank you to Hap Pierce, Board of Trustees. What's beautiful about our situation here is that the whole community does come together. Whether it's the Board of Trustees or the city of Newberry, they've embraced Newberry College. To those faculty and staff and students who have returned for another year, I say welcome back. And those of you who are becoming a part of Newberry College, just recently, over the past few weeks, I say welcome to the family. Today, we had a record-breaking 450 new students to our family, 10 faculty and eight new staff. You make the team stronger, and we are so pleased that you have become part of the team. Newberry College is about possibilities. We have the good fortune to be here together as a community. And this is where God intended us to be. This is not by mistake or by coincidence. We are a unique group with possibilities that are endless. So let us all unleash our minds, clear away the hurdles, the obstacles, and let our minds loose on the road to discovery. To the students in particular, 
There is not one of you that cannot be successful here at Newberry College and walk away in a year, two years, three years, or four years with a college degree from Newberry College. We're proud that you selected us, but don't ever forget that you're here because you can do this. Change is an unavoidable part of our daily lives, and we need to grasp it and embrace it. It's the key to our future success. The examples of change are everywhere. As technology evolves, and as familiar boundaries shift on the map of knowledge, our faculty are pressed every day to find new ways, new teaching methods. Because what we know for sure is that the learners of 2018 do not learn the same as they did 10, 20, 30 years ago. But we've got a faculty that is adaptive, a faculty that is agile, and a faculty that wants more than anything to share the knowledge with you. Our challenge is to make sure that we do not give you an education that gets you the first job. That would be crazy. Because what we know for sure is that you're going to change jobs several times. You may change careers. You may enter into a career that we don't even know about today. So our job is not to get you ready for your first job. Our challenge is to help you learn to live a meaningful, valuable life with the skill set and the character to adapt to an ever-changing world. During these next years, we will all embrace change together. And we will, trust me, we will have to lean on each other at certain times. Because like it or not, change can be scary at times. The funny thing about change, it never stops. And it makes every day feel like you're starting life over again. I feel it every day here at Newberry College. What made sense last week might not look so smart a month from now. It doesn't mean that you made a bad decision a week ago. It's simply reflective of the fact that things are changing that quickly. So more than anything, you've got to be agile and you've got to be adaptive. There was something my mother shared with me when I was about your age. I hope you can take it to heart. Here's what she said. Risk more than others think is safe. Care more than others think is wise. Dream more than others think is pr practical. And most important of all, expect more from yourself than you think is possible. Whenever I think back on those words, and I hope you feel the same way, why not? Why live your life any other way? We're all faced with challenges, but we will meet them head on. We will adapt where we need to. As a college, we will remain steadfast in defending and protecting Newberry College as a strong, private, liberal arts college. Those two thoughts, by the way, are not incompatible. Change and core values are very compatible, and the same holds true for you. You can walk faithfully and humbly with God and still show bold and courageous leadership. So when it's time for you to be heard, when it's time to take a stand that might not be popular, when it's time to say, no, that's not who I am, Reach down deep and find that courage. Trust yourself. Find the courage and make a difference. If you let that moment pass without saying anything, and you let something happen that you know is not right, you do know that you're part of the problem, right? Your voice might make all the difference in the world. And on the other hand, it may not change anything. But taking a stand is not a failure or not a mistake. And if you're going to make a mistake, doesn't it make a lot more sense for it to be your mistake than making the mistake of following the group that you know is wrong? Imagine for a second how sad it would be to walk through the woods if the only bird that could sing out was the bird who sang the best or had the strongest or the loudest voice. We need to hear all the voices. We need to hear your voice. There is not only beauty in your voice, you need to know that your voice can change the world. So I reach out to you today and ask you to forget all the reasons why you think something won't work. Forget the reasons why things might backfire. If you know it's the right thing to do, you have found the only reason that you need to do something. As we embrace change, we will also affirm our core values. At the college, we will stay true to fulfilling our long, rich, enduring tradition to provide you a strong liberal arts education. We will we will teach you to be civil and respectful. 
you will find purpose in your lives. And what is most important is that you leave here becoming a good spouse, a good partner, a good parent, a good friend, with a soft heart and a passion to bring about justice, especially for those who are underprivileged and underrepresented. At some point, and why not today, enough is enough. We must put an end to the hatred, bigotry, and injustice in this world. We must learn to respect each other. To do so, we'll have to take a stand once in a while. We have to stop worrying about making a mistake or being called a failure. Even the great philosopher Michael Jordan once said, I can accept failure, we all fail, but what I cannot accept is not trying. Making honest mistakes is simply proof to the world that you're trying. This year, take those first steps out of your comfort zone. Trust me, the second and third step is easier than the first step. Every one of your parents and every one of your faculty will tell you this without hesitation. 20 years from now, you will be so much more disappointed by what you didn't do than by anything that you do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away out of the safe harbor, catch the wind, explore, dream, and discover. In closing, Winston Churchill probably said it best, success consists of going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. So amp up the volume, unleash the enthusiasm within you, keep the spirit, keep the faith, be bold and courageous, and let no one, let no one dull your shine. Let's enjoy this journey together. Y'all have a great day. Will all new students please stand for the matriculation pledge and the Berrien Creed. Ms. Tarbell, will you share your program? <laughs> to our new students, in good faith, Newberry College provides you with the services of its faculty and the use of its physical facilities and will confer a degree upon the satisfactory completion of the minimum requirements. In turn, you agree, excuse me, upon your admission to Newberry College to abide by the rules and regulations as announced by the college and you will acknowledge yourself subject to the authority and discipline of the college. Please, new students, raise your right hand and recite with me the Newberian Creed. As a Newberian, I will honor the code of honesty in my academic and social life. I will respect the rights of every member of this community as a person and a creature of God. I will connect with and support Newberry College as a place of open dialogue and free inquiry for all. Welcome to Newberry College. Will everyone please stand for the alma mater and remain standing through the benediction. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain in your seats. Thank you. Until the academic recessional. Thank you.
be with you. Gracious Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless us and all that is within us, that from this day forward you watch over our going out and our coming in, that you build us up in courage, strengthen us in faith, fill us with hearts of hope to be people of justice and mercy and truth. And may you watch over this wolf pack, and may we, may we howl bright and loud together in pride. God bless Newberry College. God bless the city of Newberry. God bless our moms and dads and our families. God bless us all. Amen.